Alright guys, I wasn't sure if we are going to be able to do it, but we found it. So, I got a bus ride from the top and I asked the guy to just drop me off here and it worked. So now we're going to explore the botanical gardens and check out Hong Kong Park. Here we are, right in the middle of the city. We were up way up there earlier. You guys hear that? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Is that it mimicking me? Is that what I sound like? Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Hi! Hello! Whoa! Hello! 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 Whoa! 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 Guys, I think we found who the bird was mimicking. Chilling with King George. Pretty dope statue they got here. Um, let's get a close up. Really nice. I'm gonna touch it. Gotta touch it. Let's touch his foot. So, for those of you guys that don't know, I didn't know until the, I went to the Hong Kong History Museum. Uh, Britain still had Hong Kong as like a colony until 1997. And that is when they ceded, I don't know if that's the correct word, but they gave it back to China in a way, so, but Hong Kong, I don't totally understand it all, so they gave it back to the People's Republic of China, but Hong Kong is still like their own, their own entity, or they, they do their own stuff essentially, but they're no longer owned by Britain, but they still have a lot of British stuff, I've met a lot of British people around, so there's still a heavy influence left from when Britain was in control. Me and Kenzie hugging each other. All right, so Hong Kong Park is over there, fairly certain. Well, we made it after a little bit of confusion, but I mean, like I've said before, you can pretty much figure out where you're going just by walking in the direction. At least here you can, because I have not been using Wi-Fi, LTE, or any kind of map system to help me. So, doing pretty good there. Here we are, Hong Kong Park. Sweet. Pretty sick park that's like, those are some cool buildings, I didn't realize those are um, But pretty sick park, just kind of being like in the middle of the city, skyscrapers surrounding it and stuff, but really needs a paint job. Like, look how old the skullies are. Looks like, honestly, looks like a scene from Chernobyl in Russia. To the top of that place. Steps are like half on my feet, so I really, really don't want to fall. Like, depending where you look, it's pretty scary. I'm over on that pier is where I was walking the other day. You guys have no clue how much concentration this took. Like, this was so scary. Really, really, like, I thought I was gonna fall. Olympics there? Look at that. I wonder if there was Olympics here a while ago. That's been a long time, right? Here. 
Yeah, I don't know. Okay, the guy here, like with the camera, he totally looks like Steve Aoki. Do you guys see that resemblance at all? What are you guys filming? I thought that was a person for a sec. Okay. So this guy's dick is out. This place is ginormous and has every single fancy store you can think of, plus a thousand more. So what I was saying was that I always thought that America was consumeristic, but they have way more stuff going on here. I mean, I guess this is a city, it's a big city as, as well, but I've never been to like New York or anything, so maybe New York is more than this, but I feel like there's a lot of shopping centers, a lot of giant shopping centers. They're all very expensive, nice ones. Um, and then as well, they have all the cheaper areas selling lots and lots of stuff. There's always shopping going on, so I just feel like Hong Kong is just as consumeristic as America. Maybe they learned that from us, who knows. Hey guys, so I'm back in probably one of my favorite places in Hong Kong, Kowloon Park. I'm also in the same little bench area, this little light stuff in front of me. Really nice. Uh, I got like a bunch of croissants, um, a donut, some other stuff. I'll show you while I'll eat it. I got like a full bag of uh, like bread stuff, all for like $7.50 US dollars. So, insane. Really good. I would eat so much if I lived here all the time. Oh my goodness, I'd be really fat. But, um, fantastic food. And, you know, I was just out, like the street right over there, if you can see it, um, was like shoulder to shoulder walking with people. And yet the park is just, open benches and a few people walking by me every once in a while it's just like these people are missing out on the best part of like why they live here this is amazing it's relaxing like I feel bad that they're missing out on it but I'm enjoying it just wanted to do a recap on my trip here so let's do it let's dive into that so day one was pretty sweet Day one was really cool, like a lot happened that day. I had no clue really like where I was, what was going on, what I was gonna see. It was just, I was wide-eyed walking through all the city and it was just, it was beautiful. There was so much to see. I just explored a lot, saw a lot. Um, yeah, that was a good day. Day two, I really, day two originally I was thinking of going to Macau, but I ended up not doing that because it seemed like a lot of work. I had to get a ferry. I'd have to bring my visa. They'd have to stamp stuff. Like when originally when my friend was gonna come with me, that might have happened, but it just didn't seem worth it. And honestly, I'm glad I didn't because I had a great time. I just kind of I explored some new places. I went to the Hong Kong Museum, so that was really cool. Uh, but I really just walked around and saw the culture here and the people. I met people. It was just. It's, it's a lot of fun just to explore the city, even if you're not going to like sightseeing landmarks or anything, it's like just walking around is honestly my favorite part of all this. And then today, today was great. You saw it all, we went on the hike. Uh, that was, the hike was cool and then the view up there was beautiful. Victoria Peak, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, today was great and I'm just ending it here in uh, the park my favorite park and I'll see you guys tomorrow um, I'm not gonna do much other than eat tonight and probably go to bed uh, just relax at the park from there hour probably so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow morning uh, I'll be getting ready to go to oh soccer ball oops all right they got it that's <laughs> uh, but I'll be getting ready to go to China, Chengdu. So that'll be exciting. Uh, it's gonna be a whole new first day for me experience essentially. Really excited.
Hey man, no, it's my ball. Oh, what? You trying to square up, bro? Let's go. You better watch out, man. Ah, oh, dude, I told huh. you. So... So, I'm watching my second soccer game. They're pretty awesome to watch. I just had a conversation with uh, the goalie, I think. He was super cool. Um, he grew up here, and then for university, he went to Australia, and he like self-taught himself English by watching like TV shows from America and stuff. And he has an American accent, even though he like learned English in Australia. And he was super cool to talk to. Really insightful, just kind of like seeing what he thought of America, like in, like in the States. His ideas of America was liberty and freedom, which is like, yeah, it's good. And then he had fat people and fast food, um, so that was funny. And he said we have really good celebrities and actors and just TV shows in general, so. I mean, I guess we do, if America rocks at TV shows. So, my friend's team got wrecked. They ended up scoring a point at the end. Uh, the final score was four to one. He was a cool guy. Bummer. It's it's really cool to meet people while you're abroad, but it's a bummer because it's like I'm never gonna see them ever again or talk to them ever again. It's crazy. Like he was a super cool guy. Oh, and I wanted to ask him his age, but I, I forgot to, and now I'll never know. It's it's kind of sad, but it's also it's just good to meet a lot of people. So. Sad but good. I don't know what to say guys. That's that's all there is to say. So a pool there, if you guys haven't seen that yet. Pretty sick. Really well, that looks like a fun pool. Like I would hang out there growing up for sure. But I'm hearing some live music. We got a band over here. This park just gets better and better. There's always something to see and do. Hey guys, so this is going to be the end of my Hong Kong series. I really hope you enjoyed watching the Hong Kong series. Put a lot of work into it. Um, I had a really great time while I was there. And, you know, it's just a great experience overall. Definitely go check out Hong Kong if you ever get the chance. Um, up next, I will be headed to China. And then later on, I'll be working on my Japan series. So this is the wrap-up to the Hong Kong series. And thanks for watching, guys.